All right, so we are about to see who the next character in Dokkan is, which is kind of a special one because of the first one where Global and JP will get like a monthly DFE at the same time post scene. Yes, I know it's happened for like bigger stuff, Sand Day, all of that worldwide, but I don't know. This one just feels really special. And this is our teaser. And any second now, we're going to see. All right, I'm going to refresh. It should be here. I just felt my phone vibrate from Nodies it is vegeta okay it is in fact going to be vegeta it really felt like a dirty fireworks situation uh and that definitely is what it is i guess while i wait to see what they're doing with vegeta uh we got int freaking Kui here bro planet dynamic saga leader this is so sick bro we actually have the english translations let's open this in a new tab and let's let's get this zoomed in man why, uh, you know, why make things complicated? Oh, look at that. All right, key three, attacking Nevis 150, high chance of evading Nevis attack, including super. Okay. Evade speed is 50% or less when receiving an attack, plus an additional chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, plus 20%. Okay. Plus an additional attack in Nevis 150, and chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, plus 20% when attacking. And if the target is in attack down or defense down status. Great chance of launching additional super, evades enemies attack, including super, and performs a cool hit within the turn if HP is 50% or less. It started turn once only. Ooh, we have foresight with this guy. Receives enemy super attack at the at the start of characters attacking turn when there is another planet in Saga category. I'll attack in the same turn. That's actually pretty sick. I can't even lie. Okay, is Vegeta here? Is Vegeta there he is? Oh my, he's AGL. AGL. Dude, it looks a lot like the int one, the support unit, but like, I don't even care, man. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's see. What does he do? What does he do? Do, 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 do? Wait, this is not him. This is him. All right. So, first off, leader ability is planet. Dude, look at how nice and zoomed in this is. We ain't gonna wait for translations. This is so sick! You're not gonna like for the sink, man. This is so sick. All right, planet dynamic saga, gifted warriors, and human deeds. And then 200% is to Dragon Ball Seekers or pure Saiyans. Okay. So, just off top, I, I literally can't tell you what that looks like. But here we go. We have an interesting. Ooh, we have an interesting animation. Key plus three attacking events plus 180% for the rest of the battle when facing only one enemy at the start of a character's attacking turn. Attacking. What? Attack and defense plus 50% per key sphere obtained at a max of 500%. 10 key spheres and. What? Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, age excluded, the rainbow key spheres. Reduces damage received by 30% and chance of evading enemies attack, including super, plus 18% with an AGL key sphere obtained or five or more key spheres obtained. Plus an additional chance of evading enemies attack, including super, plus 30%, an additional damage reduction of 18% when attacking. Uh, and if HP is 50% or more, it launches an additional super. If HP is 50% or less at the end of turn, plus an additional defense plus 50%, and high chance of performing a critical hit from the next turn onward. After the character performs a super attack five or more times in battle, changes all key spheres, agile key spheres at start of characters at next attacking turn. Imagine if they didn't have that 500% on there, by the way. Imagine if they didn't. Oh my gosh, this guy sounds actually really, really cool. Anyways, uh, and for the characters attacking turns going forward, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, agile excluded, to agile key spheres. Dude, uh, key changers are huge, man. Like 100% key changers are 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 huge. Uh, this guy's got same one race, royal lineage, prodigies, brutal beatdown, same lineage. Uh, wait, I was like, did I just say lineage? But yeah, I did. Prepare for battle and fierce battle. What categories are this? Would this Vegeta be on exactly? Surely we have the other stuff too. Gift the warriors and human deeds. I don't know what I'm say, but I read it. Uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Pure Sands, Vegeta's family, and planetary destruction. All right, let's see it. We, we should have animation. Surely, they are here. All right, all right, here we go. Tap in, you guys. Oh my gosh, I do. I'm actually, I'm just so stuck. This is so sick. We, we got a Vegeta. Man, what is with all those standalone Vegetas? This is Saiyan Day, and now this. All right, here we go. Bro, no way. This is a Kui Super, man. Wait, did he not have an active? We'll go back and read. Did I miss an active? 
Uh, Vegeta? <laughs> You're in for a treat. You see, I managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. Like how to control my power level. Yo, I just watched that episode not that long ago. Let's go! Yes! Wait, no, is that it? Okay. Oh, yeah, he has to have dirty fireworks. Oh, man, that was kind of... Was that a little... Am I, am I being a hater? Am I just being like... Like, I'm a huge Vegeta fan, so am I just being overly critical? Or was that kind of like weak a little bit? Like, was that a little weak? Am I crazy? Hang on. Hang on. Let's just rewatch the whole thing. It was short anyway. Here we go. We're going to have to look at the uh, the active abilities here. That looks familiar. What super attack is that look? I didn't realize that shot looks awesome. I like this OST. You see, I managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. Like how to control my power level. Dude. The intro looks great. And the super looks really good too. Like everything from here on looks really good. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! But this, hang on, let's, let's, let's take a look. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. I think being a little overly critical. That was pretty smooth, actually. Actually, all that was really smooth. I think I just maybe wanted a little more from the actual explosion. Uh, I think it's really all it was. Let's see how we get the 30 fireworks. Can be activated at performing four or more super attacks in battle. Master realizes an attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. Attack plus 50 per... Whoa. What? Attack plus 50% in battle. I mean, to be fair, this guy is in a post like we have tech Broly EZA who puts up insane numbers. You know what I mean? So like all these characters are putting up insane numbers. So like you have to make him feel competitive to those. I mean, just out of the gates. I don't know, guys. I feel like he's going to be putting up some pretty big boy numbers, man. Well, actually not being too terribly off defensively as well, but like, I mean, attacking, fit, attacking even so it's 50%, I mean, he's going to be very key reliant. Obviously, that goes without saying, but like, I don't know. Am I am I seeing something wrong here? But this dude's, this dude's going to be putting up like dummy numbers, like really, really stupid numbers, dude. <laughs> Attack plus 50% in battle. Like, oh my gosh. Nah, dude, I like those supers quite a lot. Uh, and I and I do like this art a lot. Anyways, there you go. Our first ever post sync, truly synced up, Dogon Festival in both Global and JP at the same time. That is so sick. You know what else is sick? Is that video over there? You can click on it. It's over there. It's across from Vegeta's head. You can click on that video. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.